25 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is the Ramble, and I am your humble and obedient host, Alex. Yes, Alex Bennett. And we'll be here until uh, like uh, midnight Eastern Daylight Time if you're watching us uh, live. If not, it goes, the party goes on forever. In fact, this will run all weekend long. Okay? So have it. As you will. Anyway, how are you? Good to good to see you. Man, I've been feeling crappy today. I don't know why. I've been. I'll tell you. I've been taking these pills. Okay. This uh, this is uh, it's called pregabalin. Can you see that pregabalin? It sounds like a Jerry Lewis drug, right? Pregabalin, uh, and it, it's uh, what do you call it? Uh, Lyrica. It's kind of like Lyrica, except this is the generic. And I take it because I have neuropathy. I have numbness in my feet, and it's been going on for a year, couple of years now. And um, I don't really take these that often. But the other day I took it, and, I, and because, you know, I had, the, I had the prostate thing, I've had problems with my, with my prostate, uh, pushing up against the bladder and the urethra and stuff and making it difficult pee and sometimes uh, uh, urgency to pee because I could I could at any moment have this incredible urgency to urinate and I would I'll have to run out of here during the show but I haven't had to do it yet I've been able to make it through the whole show but anyway so I took these pills uh, the other night I just took one to put me to sleep and I woke up and I slept the whole night and I didn't get up to have to go to the bathroom and then uh, throughout the day, I found I didn't have to pee that often. And I said, this is maybe the wonder drug that can kind of help me in all of this. So I took one last night, and it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like there's no tomorrow, okay? And uh, I'm feeling the urgency to pee like crazy. And I don't know why the day before it was working the other way, okay? So uh, I'm not taking this again tonight, and all day it has made me feel crappy. It's made me feel slightly feverish, which I'm not because I take my temperature during this kind of pandemic we're having to make sure I don't have a, a fever. I don't. Um, just took it a while ago, and I was 98.3, okay? Um, and so I took – I'm not going to take these again. I, apparently it, it – I, I only did it for one day, and that's it. And the rest of the day today, man, I've been feeling like just really crappy, you know? Uh, and it could have something to do with the weather's been rainy, and then it got better and sunny, so then the pollen came out, so then I started feeling coffee, and, you know, I mean, um, and I just, but I, what I want to have happen is I think I've got, I don't, I, I think I had my operation on the 10th two months ago. Uh, and these these seeds, these radioactive seeds, last for about oh I don't know. So they're supposed to last for about two months, and then they just die, and then you just got the seeds in there, and uh, the radiation will go away, and that should probably make me feel a lot better, but I don't feel better yet. Okay, so anyway, I'm I, you know. Plus, I can't get to the doctor to talk to him about it, and uh, yeah, he doesn't care to see me anyway. He, he's a he, he's a funny doctor. He has his nurse do everything for him. Uh, he's good though. He's great. You know, he's a master craftsman at what he does. Uh, and uh, but a man, uh, the, you know, the just the the way it's affected my peeing. And sometimes I, I'm pe like yesterday I was peeing really well, you know, and today it's like. I'm waiting for it to come out, waiting for it to come out, and I have this urgency, and it, it finally, oh, it's, you have no idea what I'm going through with the, I'm peeing like an old man, okay? Anyway, so if I have to run off to the bathroom, please don't mind me. And plus, it, the pregabalin, I think, made me feel cr really crappy today, because I took it two days in a row, so, anyway. Mm. So, anyway, here in New York, uh, things are, 
going along. Our our governor uh, Mario Cuomo today uh, gave a uh, another one of his uh, briefings, which he does seven days a week. I mean, he he he's on the case seven days a week. This is not, and he's getting to look tired. He's getting to look a little exhausted from this whole thing. But anyway. Uh, he um, he gave us uh, his uh, daily speech and told us that he's going to keep the schools out now uh, for the rest of the year, uh, that he does, can't see getting them back into session. And then he was asked about summer school, and he said, well, we're going to have to figure that out. You know, because summer school is a slightly different thing, not as many kids, might be more manageable, who knows, you know. But this this governor isn't taking any risks, you know. He's not just, just because everybody's yelling, I want to get out of the house, I want to work, I want to do this. He's just, he just says, I got to do my job, okay? And if I don't see that it's, it's, you know, it's clear to go back in the water, you know, that you, you haven't uh, waited 45 minutes after eating before going into the water. It is, it's not time to go into the water yet. That uh, uh, he, uh, he's not gonna, he's not gonna say, okay, everybody back in the pool which a lot of states are doing right now, and they're crazy to do it. Um, I think we're going to hear some big horror stories coming out of these towns that opened up. And there were some of those towns that weren't doing too well to begin with. And you go down to uh, Georgia, uh, everything's opening up down there. That's going to be the big canary in the coal mine. Meanwhile, here we're watching over things, and the death rate went down uh, quite a bit uh, for one day. Every day we've been seeing go down, down, down by drips and drabs. When I joined him, he was, it was almost up to 800. And then now it's been like in the 335 and 330 and the 328. You know, it's just it's been very slow change from day to day on how many deaths there were. And today it went from something like, I don't know, three. 25 or something, I don't know where it was, down to about 280. So we've gone under 300, which is good, but it's not good for the people who are dead. And this is happening every day, folks. This isn't like, you know, so far we've had, you know, 280 people die. No, that was yesterday. Now let's see what happens now in the next couple of days. Let's see if, 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 if the deaths go somewhere else. And are they using the Revisadier or whatever in New York? We don't know yet, but we'll be able to find out and so on. But anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me make sure I got the screen up. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go to the uh, big screen here. The big uh, we, we like to look at this every night. This is our, our way of checking out what's happening with the big coronavirus fad that's going on in the world. Oh, uh, 3,343,300, 3 million, 343,302 have been totally confirmed, okay? Uh, the rest have been bar mitzvahed. Uh, and let me see here, total deaths in the world, 238,506. Um, not good, not good. Those are people that didn't need to die, didn't need to die. Uh, but let's go to the United States. Let's go to the big. Let's go to the uh, big big board in the United States and see what the uh, the story is here. Oh look, we're at one million one hundred three thousand four hundred and sixty one totally confirmed cases. You watch that rise precipitously now that some of these states are going crazy time. Okay, uh, it's gonna. It's not gonna be fun. Uh, 64,808 deaths, 64,808 deaths, of which 18,399 are right here in New York City, okay? So that's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's a number that's not, uh, not good, okay? I mean, in fact, if we go back up, can I go back up to the world? I wonder how I get back to the world here. I guess I, I can maybe I do it this way. Well, well, I can. The thing is, if I if you look at the, um, hmm, I don't know how we get back to the world. That's the problem. Uh, so I'll just I'll just reboot it here. Okay, hold on a second while that reboot takes place. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
here's the world. And uh, come on, yeah. Now you see over here they have total deaths, 238,650. Well, number one in deaths is Italy. Okay, if you go by, it, 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 it's a weird thing they're doing here. Uh, United Kingdom is second. France is third. Spain is fourth. But actually, we're first. We have more deaths in the whole country. But what they did was they then said, New York City. And if New York City were a country, New York City were a country, they would have the fifth amount of deaths uh, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, virus, with the, little, the happy little coronavirus. Uh, Michigan, second in the United States, only 1,802. See, but we're right up there. Just, just, that's a very high number. That's why I don't go out that often, okay? And that's why I worry every day that I'm going to come down with it. By the way, well, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, the Spain, uh, they got 213,435, 24,543 deaths. Italy, uh, 207,428 with 28,236 deaths, and then we go on down and down and down. By the way, the, most, the best place to be in the world is Camaros, which uh, has uh, one confirmed and no deaths, okay? Followed by the Western Sahara, if you, if you care to go to the Western Sahara. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have, I have a problem with this. There we go. Um, uh, uh, wait a minute, Western Sahara doesn't have that many. Come on, Western Sahara. There, they have six total confirmed deaths. I mean, uh, uh, confirmed and zero deaths up there. And you got Yemen and Bhutan and uh, Papua and the, the Guinea and uh, Suriname and Gambia and Nicaragua and places like St. Kitts, right? Uh, that's, that's down there uh, where that light is flashing. Uh, St. Kitts, 15 total confirmed, zero deaths. So those are the places to go if you want to live, okay? So anyway, that's, um, that's, that's, that's the map for tonight. Uh, quite a, quite a, uh, uh, a, a situation we got here. Let me see here. I got to somehow I got, I can't, I never learned how to do that correctly. Um, because I have to get to another page here so I can see, oh, there are already a lot of you watching tonight. Well, anyway, so, uh, today uh, was the big day, a uh, big day for us. Um, uh, uh, it was time for our Costco delivery and they they brought us our stuff and i actually ordered up i ordered up some things that i didn't know if they'd have them. the bacon okay which i love this thick bacon they've got um and toilet paper we ordered toilet paper this we go through a thing called instacart and they send somebody down there and he goes and shops for you and then he comes to your place and dr drops it off and they charge about 40 bucks for that whole that whole deal. But anyway, um, I didn't think, I thought some of those things just wouldn't show up okay. And they did. They did. Yes. Got the toilet paper. Yay! 30 rolls of toilet paper. That's good for, well, the way my stomach's been lately, about 15 days. No, it's good. That's good for, because they're the big thick rolls, too. Um, so that'll take care of us for, you know, at least uh, almost two months, I would say of toilet paper. And uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got cheese, and we got all the whole bunch of stuff. But everything I ordered from Costco, they brought over. So that was good. And then Marjorie went down and did a shopping, and I we got some of my bread that I like and things like that. And, you know, so we're, we're kind of hunkered down for the long haul here. And I think it's going to, you know, it, 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 I'm, I'm hoping we're going to be okay. Uh, we don't plan on going out anytime soon, and uh, we do a lot of um, we do a lot of Zoom things. Like you know, we had cocktails the other day with the Zellers, uh, and um, I called my friend Shecky, and I hadn't seen him in ages, and uh, I got to see him. And uh, let's see here, 
What, Alex? You don't use Skype? Well, I don't use Skype with, with people that I want to do a whole bunch of people at the same time, and they're not really all good at using computers because Zoom is so simple, uh, any idiot can operate it. But, you know, I mean, uh, Jack Bishop could write, run Zoom. I mean, that's how, that's how uh, simple it is for the non-techy uh, uh, people. Skype is a little more difficult. But uh, I need to use Skype here, as I've told you before, because it allows me to do certain things. You know, it allows me to, uh, well, it allows me to do this, where I put all the pictures down there over on the side here. There we go. I don't know which way to point. Uh, I see, I would put all the pictures up and down there and, and so on. And I do that, and I can't, you can't do that. I can't do it with, uh, I can only do like one person. Uh, if I'm going to do it with uh, with Zoom, so it's it's not ready for prime time, okay? Uh, and the networks I don't think are using Zoom, I, but I don't know what they're using. But they've got all their people at their homes. I love seeing all these TV people, you know, Mr. Beautiful, Mr. Wonderful, you know, and he can't get a goddamn haircut anywhere, and the makeup woman is uh, not coming over uh, anytime soon, and uh, uh, you know. Uh, and, and, and also, you get to see their homes. That's the other nice thing. You get to see their homes. And uh, uh, But uh, anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open up the lines now, and you guys can call. Let me see here. Let me make that active. Okay. All right. It's going to take a while for it to get active. I think you can call anyway if you're planning on calling. I don't think it's a problem. But uh, for some reason, it's, uh, it's spinning around, right? Uh, but I'll, uh, you know, if you, if you want to call, give us a call anyway. It's uh, Gabnet Live if you're using Skype. That's, that's, the way we, uh, that's the way we go with this thing. What is it? It's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's, it's, we're just whirling around here. Uh, you know. Oh, there, well, so, well, somebody's tried to call in. Somebody tried to call in, and they didn't get in. Let them try again. Let's see what happens. Da, 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 da. No, I'm having trouble with Josh. Okay, let me do something here. Let me kill Skype, okay? And then let me start it up again, and we'll see and hope and pray that... Ah, now it's working. Now it's working. Now you can call me, Josh. You should be okay. You should be all right. Um, yeah. Uh, no, it's it's rolling around again. That's ridiculous. Oh, this is uh, this is ridiculous. Hmm. <laughs> oh, somebody else tried to call me. Other people try to call me. Let me see here. Brian Neary. Oh, okay. There's Brian. He's okay. All right. Oh. And uh, uh, Zeller, uh, Jeff Zeller is calling. We'll go to him and see if we get him uh, here. Uh, let me see here. Charlene Martinez. See if we get her there. Um, and uh, Rob Alfano. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait here for a second. Josh Wheeler, who is calling. There we go. There's Josh. Okay, Josh. Uh, let me see here. Let me let me start uh, getting you people uh, in here somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. Ray Renati is calling. Cause, oh, okay, that's okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, where? What? 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 Who? Who's that? Uh, yeah, that's Hello. Ray Renati. Wait a minute. Who else did On we the get? Road with Renati. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me now let me uh, put the. Let me see here. And we have Brian, we have Rob, we have Charlene, we have Zeller. Okay, so we could p put uh, Ray in there, which would be Goomba, whatever, Gumball. Uh, <laughs> let me see here, and uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I, there's one more that I don't have in here, and who is that? Um, oh, it's Josh Wheeler, of course. Uh, here we go. Let me see. Where are we? Josh W42. Okay. And uh, there we go. Uh, that's our 
That's our whole uh, bunch of people. And uh, hello to all of you. How are you doing? Perfect. Huh? Near perfect. Near per near perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. If you say so. Uh, Rob, if you put if you put some light in front of you, you're kind of in a shadow. It's kind of like you're in a witness protection program right now. I'm going to change cameras now. I'm using a different computer tonight. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're going to change camera. Uh, you're going to change computer. So you're going to have to call us back, right? No, I'm just changing the camera. I'm. I'm. This is my Mac, mm -hmm. and it's the, this is the Mac PC that you're uh, Mac uh, camera. Yeah. I'm going to use the camera I you always use. Yeah. I just haven't set it up yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Better. Okay. Well, uh, you know. I don't know if you. What? Well, we lost his picture for a second because he's probably shifting over to another camera. Mm -hmm. And we'll wait and see. Where are you, Ray, right now that you're walking down the road? I'm out on the uh, the Baylands. Uh huh. The Palo Alto Bayland Nature Preserve. Oh yeah. yeah that's for all yeah. of you people out there who aren't fortunate enough to be able to walk. You know, walk out. Yeah. And, pl and play in, in nature. We're now bringing you a moment of nature on the yeah. ramble. The nature show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, let me see here. Uh, right there, we got. What? Uh, yeah. Now, uh, you don't seem to bump into anybody there, and it seems to be really quiet out there. Is it usually that it, way? It is. Uh, actually, the, you know, at this moment, there's not people, but usually there have been more people than normal. I, I come out here often and there's no one, but mm -hmm. recently mm -hmm. there are a lot of people. That's why I bring the mask because sometimes they don't stay away far enough, but right now there isn't. Yeah. So. Yeah. I wish I had a hazmat suit. How many here would like to have a hazmat suit? Uh, I would. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then I could uh, go anywhere, you know, <laughs> go ahead, blow in my face. I don't care. I have a hazmat suit, you know? <laughs> But, I uh, saw people today with heavy duty like respirators, you know, those two can things on the side, you know. Well, those things mean they look like Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, like serious respirators. <laughs> yeah, I don't then think. I, I don't think. Then you... I felt Alex like I was gonna faint. Like I said, oh my God, I was in Walmart. I'm like, this place is a hotbed. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> maybe I'm catching it, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it's not a good thing to go into stores like that. I would not. Uh, was Walmart, Walmart, I guess, is that an essential business? Where I am, it is. They had a lot of stuff, and I did it. There was not a lot of people because tomorrow it's going to be disgusting. A big line, mm -hmm. you know, for everybody to get in because they keep track of how many are in there and stuff. So I said, and I got uh, some stuff that they won't have, and I did it ahead of time, and I got it. I wouldn't go in there t tomorrow at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. And, and I went to Costco a couple of days ago. Yeah, it was empty. There was no line, nothing. Really? Just walked right in. That's how it was today. I like just shot right in, you know. Yeah, I got uh, got. Well, we got we got our toilet paper. That's all we care about. <laughs> now we have a whole closet full of toilet paper. We're toilet paper hoarders. Okay, you know. I know uh, there was still nothing on the shelf. Actually, we like, can I talk? Sorry. Thank you. Um, uh, the, the, the hoarding, um, we're not really hoarders. What happened was is that Marjorie went down and we needed toilet paper and she got toilet paper at the store, brought it back, and it was one ply. Now, I'm telling you, in a civilized world, you do not have one ply toilet tissue. Social distance, Ray. Uh, you do not have toilet tissue uh, that's one ply. Uh, that one ply is what you give to people who are convicted of bad crimes and are going to be executed. Okay, you give them. In fact, if you don't execute people, don't have the the death penalty. Just give them one ply toilet paper for the rest of their lives. So she, we have some one ply in there, which she now just uses for blowing her nose and one blow, and it's like she's got snot on her fingers. Now, she then goes back, and they've got another kind. But it's three ply. But the problem with the three ply is number one, it's so soft, it won't, it just, it feels like you're butt wiping your butt with a cloud, but it doesn't feel like anything's adhering to the cloud. All right? So that, the, and the problem with that is the rolls are thinner. 
they're not as wide as the other rolls. So that each wrap around that you do is just thinner. And of course, when you wipe your butt, you miss your butt sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that, that toilet paper we're, we're trying to get through now. And now we finally have got the Kirkland two ply with your big fat rolls and they're wide and gee, everything's wonderful again. So, you know, considering I spend half my life on the toilet these days, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, how you doing, Josh? How, how, how's your sequestering? Going pretty good. Yeah. No, no, no issues. Just, uh, Go to work, you know, let yeah. the man keep me down and uh, come home. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Now, you you still going to work every day? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, that paint doesn't make itself, right? No, no, <laughs> we no, they didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't even slow down a little bit, man. They, they're not stopping. It really? That's not happening. Well, what, but, but what, well, I don't know what needs painting right now. Hmm. Well, I mean, we make more than just true paint that you would think about in terms of, like, painting the wall in your apartment. I mean, yeah. especially my particular plant, we make a lot of industrial coatings. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think about it, everything has some sort of coating or paint. I mean, yeah. the yeah. plastic facade on the ATM machine, for example, and we make a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. They tried to say, well, you know, we do make paint that goes on uh, hospital beds and uh, respirators. I mean, <laughs> they said that shit so they could feel better about themselves for making money. Yes, <laughs> I know. I saw it. my doctor was saying, you know, I the terrible part about Mount Sinai is they haven't repainted their respirators in a long time. Oh, yeah. 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 He said, I yeah. can't and take it. These respirators. I are mean, we... We make a lot of stuff that you would not see, like, in the store, basically. Mm -hmm. A lot of our stuff, uh, not not sure when in particular, but at my particular mm -hmm. plant, it can make latex-based house paint, but we oftentimes do not. We usually only do that when the other plants that are architectural are very, very busy in peak season, where they have some kind of huge sale, like uh, they have that contract with Lowe's, et cetera, mm -hmm. and then we'll take some on. But it's usually industrial coatings, so we just make a lot of different stuff yeah. like that. And a lot of our stuff goes to another manufacturer mm -hmm. who then puts it in their paint guns or whatever, and it goes on products that you buy, for example. Wow, I'm just looking at uh, what Ray is shooting. He's out taking his walk. <clears throat> it is getting a little crowded out there, isn't it, Ray? Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you before. It gets it's re way more people than normal since this has all happened. Well, probably because they know that they're probably stuck in the house most of the day and they want to get yeah. out and take a, a walk at some point, you know. Yeah. And this is pretty we this is pretty safe, I would imagine, you know. Yeah, most people are pretty good about keeping distance. Most people. Yeah. Not all, not all of them. Oh, do I hear ducks? Yes, right there. Oh. Listen, listen. Oh. oh, duckies. Oh, how nice. All right. Yeah. Look and sometimes there's geese, uh, and they're really loud. Yeah. I, I don't know where they are today. Yeah. I better get going back. Though. And hey, is that right? Right off of 101? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a really, really nice area. Mm. Yeah, when I was a kid, this was most of this was uh, piles of salt. And then right yeah. over there... <clears throat> It was, was the dump yeah. up until about three years ago, but it's gone yeah. and they turned it into this part of this. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Let me see here. I got to get Kevin in here. Where do I want to put him? Number seven. And that's right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Hog rider. Hog rider. Hog rider. Here we go. Here comes hog rider. Um. There we go. And we got Kevin in here as well. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Alex. As he waves. Up, yeah. Remember, this also has an audio show running at the same time, so you can't just wave. You have to go, hi, Alex. <laughs> hi, Alex. How are you? Ooh, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. Um, back zoing. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, what's new with you? How's your, your sequestering? 
Oh, just great. I just spent the last hour trying to fix my freaking dish. Uh, you, you, Got no signal, you know, so that that's like disaster oh. around here. Well, I mean, at this point, yeah, but with this thing going on, of course that's a oh, disaster. I, what else are you going to do? Yeah, what else are you going to do? Uh, I would I would find that disastrous. If What? A house with no cable? That's totally uncivilized. That's like living yeah. in a cave. Did it to me last week, too. It drove me nuts. I had to reboot the system about six times, go out there and bang on the dish a couple of times. and I don't know what the hell it's doing. I had a dish once uh, when I was in San Francisco because I, yeah. uh, I, I mean, I could get the cable and stuff like that, but I wanted, I wanted to get more. And I found that I had this little back window that went out onto a, a, a roof, okay, and, which was low, and then I found that there's just a sweet spot where I could put a put a, a what do you call it a dish, and I got a signal, and I and I loved it in those days because I was getting all the East Coast programs, mm. right? So I could watch all the shows early, and because I can't got up so early to do a radio show, I was through watching all of network television by 9:30 at night. I mean, you know, so uh, that's that, that that made me really happy. Um, yeah, but then one day it rained terribly, and I couldn't get anything. You know, so I really don't have a problem with signal too much, except for weird things like this. And you know, I I, I don't know. I just screw with the companies when when they come up with a good deal and a three or four hundred dollar gift card and mm. you know one year contract. I screw with them and I tell them to give me this and give me that, and they say okay, and you know. Yeah, I go with them for a year and then I switch. I've been through every damn company you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh really? Oh, oh yeah. You, you're, you're, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm a cable whore. I, I <laughs> imagine when you call them up, they say that pain in the ass Kevin is calling again. You betcha. And then they start sending me offers and all kinds of crap. And I say, ah, well, you give me another three hundred dollar gift card and maybe I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I just I just spent my one from Dish here and I bought me an Apple Watch. <laughs> oh really? Oh okay. All right. But wait a minute. Now hold on a second. You have Dish, right? Yeah, I got Dish now. Oh okay. But can you use your same uh, uh, setup uh, and get AT and T, let's say, or Direct TV? No. 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 So no. so I got a Direct TV Dish on my house too. They wouldn't take it down. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So, but there are only two real group. I think, yeah, I think they're the only two left is Dish and Direct. Yeah. Yeah. Xfinity. Yes, Ray. Ray's, yeah, got, his yeah. hand, Ray's got his hand up. Yes, Ray. Alex, do you, do you realize that you invented Chromecast? What do you mean, Chromecast? Well, the first Chromecast. So, years ago, you had, because I just remembered this. You had uh, the TV signal, and then you got to replay TV, and then you figured out how to uh, use the, the, the wireless uh, Wi-Fi, the cheap Wi-Fi we had to send the signal all around to different computers on your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I did that. After you, <laughs> after you said how to do it, I went and did it. I loved it. Well, it's I like, just it's like uh, yeah. That was before Chromecast. That's before Google. Um, I just remember I just remembered that. Well, you know, you know me, I like to have a TV set in every room. Yeah, you but, know, but it was like we just it was a big jury rig thing that you But I got to so I got to have some way of getting a signal from my my that my DVR to all the yeah. machines and in those days, you know, one DVR, one TV set. Well, that wasn't going to sit yeah. well with me, so I had to come right. up with a solution. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, when you thought that I loved it cuz I had it I had it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I just remember that. Down boy. Yeah, down boy. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what we have? We have a we we got a pet. We got a pet. I forgot to tell you that. No. We have a mouse in the apartment. <laughs> I couldn't see uh, and, and he was in the bedroom tonight. And I looked I looked down at my shoes and I saw it's a mouse. And she had seen this same mouse, we assume the same mouse. In the, in the, you know, in the kitchen. And it's the cutest little mouse. It's about this big, you know. And he's probably never scared. just one. You know, I just wish he would find his way to somebody else's apartment, you know. There's never you just said, one. Are you sure he's a there's, mouse? Do you say there's never just one? I don't, don't want to say the you other sure? word, you know. Do you say no, there's never just one? There's never just one mouse. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. We, we had a rental, and we thought there was one mouse in there the lady complained about. We put all these traps and these tape things up. Okay. Then we found that behind the microwave, there's like five stuck to that thing. <laughs> and then in the other room. Oh no, but God. you know, we have, we have those things, and this mouse seems to be able to sidestep those things. We got them everywhere. <laughs> You got to bring the cat back in. That'll be it. Peanut butter. Yeah, on. I got to bring the cat back. That's I want to rent the cat. Okay. <laughs> you get the cat, they'll, they'll be gone. You know what happens though? Every cat I ever had, I thought, okay, comes mice, they'll take care of the the mice, right? And every cat I ever had just looked. Oh, hey, look, there's a mouse. <laughs> you know. You have One to stop feeding do. them. Huh? Yeah, you have to start starving <laughs> them. Yeah, but they just go, huh? Mouse, that's cute. You know. Uh, I mean, I, uh, but uh, I, we, we, you know, so maybe there is, a, maybe there's more than one mouse, you know. But she, it ran under the bed, and then I went and looked under the uh -huh. bed, and I couldn't find it. It's like they disappeared. They're going to the walls. Well, they, they, have they, places they can, they could supposedly have no spine or something, kind of like, like a right. Trump. And they can, you can't, <laughs> they, 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 they can't get through, you know, they can get under and in between other things. You know, and mm -hmm. um, have no problem. Alex in my house when we had one in the summer. Mm -hmm. You know what he was coming up through? He was coming up through the radiators. Like we made the, when I called the guy, he that's a the New radiator. Yorker. The oh, radiators, yeah. just radiators. Radiator. Yeah, that's oh, a that's a New York that. thing. I that's had I to up. teach radiator. Marjorie he put, that he it put isn't the steel it, wool around, and he said, "This is where he's coming." Just, just, yeah. steel wool. Yeah. Yeah. I want him dead. I said, "They can't." I was on camera. My brother came up. I was yelling, "Get up here!" Now, Tony, Tony, Tony. I've got to I've got to de New York you for a moment. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, when heat is pulsating into a room and then it goes around the room and spreads its warmth throughout the room, what is it doing? Say that again? Can I get multiple choice on this? Yes, to <laughs> it could be. Okay, I'll give you multiple choice. Choice of two, two choices. Okay. It either radiates or radiates. <laughs> It radiates. No, it radiates. <laughs> oh, shit, I got it wrong. <laughs> this is the way I grew up, too. You know what Called he said? It radiator My grandma, years. I say radiator. Yeah. This is just, San Francisco. I, the, the guy, when we had the work done, mm -hmm. he says those steel radiators, they're worth a lot of money. He, they're he radiators. Them, he wanted, wanted radiators. <laughs> he, we had one on plug because it was really hot. He says, you want that? He wanted to take it out. My brother says, no, we're keeping it. But they, they were worth money. The, the guy, the guy who, we can sell it to the guy who we, we we thought we were renting this apartment from, uh, when he came in here, he went down the basement and he found some really old radiators, beautiful old radiators, and uh, he had installed them up here because you know th those things if they were made in 1900 they'll still work today. They're, it's a very simple appliance. Um, I mean, they work so good in my mom's room that we had to turn hers off because it was getting. We have them in almost every room. It was getting too hot. Yeah, we mm -hmm. don't have that same problem because uh, somehow they, uh, the, the, the landlord wants to save money, so he makes sure he doesn't send up more than he needs to send up. And he, we have a kind of like thermostat. It's not really a thermostat, but it's something that sends a signal to their Brooklyn offices that tells their Brooklyn offices when to turn things on and off in each apartment. So it's a very weird system. But I never, I, I very seldom have felt overheated by the radiators here. Yeah. Now, so now of course, I don't have a too. radiator, and a radiator might overheat. I don't know. I know they drip sometimes, because my mother's was dripping into the apartment downstairs. We had to, we had to fix it. That sounds like an affliction of some it. sort. I don't, I, don't, I don't trust things. Hey, like Tony. That. Yeah. Did you ever put boogers on them, too? What's that? No. Boogers no. on the radiator? No. You ever I put what? You know what school. You know, actually, she used to put the clothes on it. She still does. Sometimes we'll put the clothes on it. She'll say, put them on the radiator. We put them school. We dry. put boogers on them, and they dry up. She used to have the socks what? on there, the shirts, because they were getting warm <laughs> fast. Wait, what do you put on them, like Kevin? Like the 1900s, I said. We gotta put them dry. I said, no, put them. Actually, I do like the feel when they're on the radiator a little bit better. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we when our when our gas went out and our and our and our dryer 
and washer would, the dryer wouldn't work. <laughs> we could air dry things, but sometimes when we really got them good and wet, we put them on the radiator. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, he said it now. That's a radiator. Do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I always called it radiator. Oh, look who's there. Yeah, the, the whole family. Well, not yeah, the whole family now. <laughs> oh, is that his house? I'm like, hi, where's hi. he going? Here, let's see. Let's see the little. Oh, that she's adorable. Yeah. She's hey, she's. Hey, Alex. Come on. Hey, say hi, my friends. Hi. Hey. What's your name again? What's going on? What? Say your name, sir. Adrian. 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 Okay, I have a friend here called Adrian. By the way. You know? Okay. Uh, okay, say goodbye. Yeah. Is that is that that's the only kid, right? Uh two others, but they're yeah, they're in engulfed in what they're doing. So, oh I yeah. see. Okay. I, I didn't know how many kids you had. But... Yeah, uh a fourteen and a twelve year old. Yeah. But you think you're gonna say enough. fourteen kids. No, no. Yeah, fourteen. 14. Well if 12, you ever if, if you ever need to, you can always kill the other two and save the cute one. Yeah. Yeah. A cute daughter and a hot wife, boy. yeah. Huh? I'm ready to trade the boy anytime. <laughs> you ready? Really? How He's old is he now? He's a 14-year-old. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's the age. Yeah. I Seems like 14 in quarantine, right? You know, yeah. I, 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 I got a 17-year-old. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Quarantine. Yep, you uh, want to kill him, yeah. There were, times, oh there were times in my life that I, I kind of wished that I had had some children, you know? You think, you know, it would have been, kind of made my life more interesting in another way. Mm -hmm. And now, after I have this pandemic, and I think about myself being stuck <clears throat> with, say, like two kids, like <laughs> who are like five years old and six years I'm old, crazy. you know, just climbing the walls, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> are the kids, uh, by the way, Brian, are they getting a little cabin feverish? Uh, uh yes yes so yeah how are you how are you handling that i mean are you taking them letting them go out somehow yeah so so i'm working in the morning so usually i'm working by six o'clock and then i usually get out of there about noon or about one o'clock mm -hmm. and then when i come home so yeah. in the morning they can do whatever they want but then by the time i get home they have one hour outside time mm -hmm. they have uh, another hour of piano they have an hour of art and then they do reading for an hour and then by that time it's dinner time yep. and now are, are teachers are they doing classrooms at home yeah in the morning so when they wake up first they have to log on and take care of all that by the time i get home and, and what what are the uh, what are the schools using zoom for that yes uh google classrooms actually Google Classrooms. I never heard oh, of yeah. that. Yeah. And the the great the great thing about having kids in junior high, well, right across the street is mm -hmm. the junior high right here. Mm -hmm. So when I show you the sunset, remember I told you the soccer fields? Yeah. So yeah. so the good thing about the junior highs right now is they have something called infinite campus. So a lot of the schools do that now. I think every school does that now. Yeah, so you we got can this. see yeah, you can see your kids, all your kids' classes and what they're getting right now, their grade. You can also see every single every mm -hmm. single test they've done and every single uh, worksheet that they've turned in. You see their scores for everything, so everything is alive. And when they cut, yes. <laughs> so you can't just like tell Daddy, "Oh yeah, I turned that in," and no, you know everything. Yeah. So how is this homeschooling working out? Do you think? It's. It, it, it's good. It, it's good. I, and actually, I contacted one of the teachers this week just to make sure. And now I have other emails and stuff like that. So I, I, I think it's good to keep them busy and keep them going a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and it's nothing like them being in school, but at least they're getting some kind of learning. And then, uh, do, I mean, every every parent should have their own. I mean, even when they're going to school, they still have to get outside for a little while and they still have to uh, do reading for an hour. Yeah, and piano. Now, piano I, I, I don't understand this. What are they doing for kids whose parents don't have computers? I mean, there's some yeah. people that don't have yeah. the ability to own a computer. Yeah, and Kevin will know, the, probably hears this too. Yeah, they the schools have been giving laptops. They're issuing out laptops. Wow, good. Wow. Chromebooks, yeah. yeah. This is really good. Yeah. Google's passing out a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, good. I, Google's doing it as a service to the public, then I imagine. Yeah. Wow, that's terrific. That's really good. My son's doing this whole thing. My 17-year-old, he has the Chromebook. He's going to school every day. Yeah. But the oh, thing yeah. is, the thing is, how much time do they have to spend 
in with their with their classroom online as opposed to the amount of time they'd be spending on the uh, uh, if they were at school in yeah. a classroom. Well, they're keeping my son busy as hell oh yeah really? my daughter's <laughs> been doing it she well you have to kick her in the ass in the morning to get her going yeah me but too. i got her going about noon and she's <clears throat> in there been working on shakespeare since noon and she's still in there <laughs> wow Wow. Mine is live. It's live. He has to be there at nine in the morning. Yeah, there's uh, but, there's some stuff she has to go on, but her classes yeah. are are off and on for Zoom. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, she works off and on depending on what class is scheduled for Zooms, and then she'll get her assignments, and then they got time to she got to turn something in on Sunday, I guess. But yeah. that's all yeah. Google because Docs, I, and they got to get those yeah. in by a certain time. I wonder, could the classroom be replaced by this, or do you think that the classroom is needed? I don't, no. They, Not long they, have, they, they have, at least at the middle school, they have so much opportunity to do their homework and everything in class when they can have an aide there or a teacher there. Mm -hmm. It's so helpful. So they come home, and they still have maybe an hour's worth of homework. Mm -hmm. That's why it's really good. Then I can get them, or you know, we get them on their all their – extracurricular stuff but do you feel do you feel confident that uh, uh that your kid uh your kids uh are going to after being homeschooled like this you know teleschooled as it were that they're going to be as uh they will have passed this year just as well as they would have passed it had they been going to classes no i mean that He's in advanced math and stuff like that, so he's giving some lessons, but not like he would be when he's in class. It can't can't substitute the class. I yeah, think. see down down here they're talking about uh, starting school early, mm -hmm. um, and she said I, I can't wait. Really, you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Girls said, are like that. Girls yeah, are like that. She was saying if they start in July, that'd be great. Wow. I have Girls Kevin. I have a hard time getting my 17 year old out of bed just to be there at nine i mean well that happens. I mean, he literally has to walk 50 feet you know <laughs> yeah right i went well, we, through that <laughs> we force her up at like seven or eight in the morning yeah which is late for her yeah yeah, yeah. how do you do that <laughs> uh, i used to spray myself you got no water. choice <laughs> I think one of the problems still though is you know man i started realizing this when you know he he texts me when i'm at work and asked me to print something because something's like 23 or 4, 24 pages so i'll print that at work and i'm i'm looking at it and it's like civil war and it's like man i forget the other stuff and it's like you know, I know, I know that's some of our history, but man, it's just stuff that, you know, I, I wish they would be learning about so much more. And then I asked them, so what do you guys, you know, were you talking about certain items like, you know, the presidential stuff going on? This is before COVID and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. they don't touch base on some of that stuff. Maybe it goes to high school they do. But, you know, junior mm -hmm. high, man, there's still a lot of opportunity to really learn some really, you know, things that they need. Have your kids? Let me ask you this. Uh, can, I don't. I'm not. I'm not stuck here with kids, so I don't know how they react to it. But are they? Do they feel mad about this, or do they feel they're doing their part? Do oh my understand? God! He was jumping up and down. He's happy because the 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 son the, the two oldest are so happy because they can stay home and play games. They have their time to play games, even though you know they got to drag him outside and all mm -hmm. those other things. But the four year old, she we had the first. Web X with her daycare, and she was crying because she missed her friends so much. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. My daughter's semi happy and mostly pissed. Yeah, yeah she we're, wants we're to get out. She doesn't have any si any sisters or brothers, so yeah. she's you know she wants to get out and see her friends. But yeah, who's making she can all play that her noise? Game and that sort of thing. But otherwise, she just wants to get out and socialize. Uh, yes, Jeff. I wanted to say two things that my, my uh, grandkids are all almost teenagers or teenagers, mm -hmm. and they, they seem to be doing fine. Yeah. But yeah. I don't, but they, their parents probably have a different attitude. Well, but, you know, the, yeah. point, the point is, is that you see all these kids um, uh, out uh, at the beaches in California, you know, <laughs> yeah. do, doing tequila shots off women's butts, you know, and thinking that yeah. because they're immune from this whole thing that uh, that uh, they don't have to worry about it, not realizing that, you, you know, Cuomo uh, said something very good today. He said, uh, this is, uh, an, how did he put it? You're wearing a mask. 
okay? But you're not wearing a mask to protect yourself. You're wearing a mask to protect somebody else. Yes. And that yep. person is wearing a mask to protect you. And it's kind of m m watching out for each other mutually. And, yep. and, and the, the, in many ways, he said he felt this was the, the nicest part about this whole thing, is people being considerate of each other and not wanting to spread what they might have to somebody else. It's not that you're wearing it to protect your own face. You just want everybody to do it, so you're all protecting each other. And out I, of love. He said, yeah. it, he said it was out of love. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's what she gets pissed off about. She sees that, and she goes, why aren't they wearing a mask? And she gets pissed off, and she walks upstairs, and it's just going to take longer for me to get outside. That, yeah. Right. Right. You know? So what do you guys think about uh, about uh, some of the developments medically, this revisadir? Uh, what do you think, Brian, since you're in that business? Like I said the other night, I think it's good to at least have something that they have a path forward to, but it's only reducing the, you know, like an average sick time from 15 to 11 days. Mm -hmm. But at least, you know, at least there's stuff coming up. And but but that, so, that, that's going to be able to get some people off respirators, right? Yeah, or, or a shorter time, yeah. And if you cut that by half, you have another person who needs one, then, you know, you could double up on those. Yeah, but I'm saying that, that, that hey. this, could, this could get people off the respirators faster quicker yes and quicker yep. because they say they're going to try this first on the mo the people who are the closest to death so to speak and right. and, and give it a try but they today uh, just okayed it i guess for use uh for for compassionate yeah, use yeah emergency use only yeah so they'll, yeah. they'll still have to get qualified with that with more stricter tests like normal like we'll have to also mm -hmm. but uh yeah they, which was really fast that they got faster than well we by saying compassionate what they did is it left it open for them to play their political games and mm -hmm. uh, do what they got to do you know but the good thing not the give up their power Trump, what the good thing is trump didn't get to tout this for weeks and weeks before they approved it you know, yeah. Well, this like, wasn't the one he wanted. It was his idea. Uh, no, no, he was. It was another drug altogether that he was touting. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and it was killing people. Oh, yeah, the other one. Huh? <laughs> the one he did. The one he recommended people would kill and over with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the one that gave, gave people heart attacks. Oh, and then there was yeah. the Lysol and the Clorox. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that yeah, Because if they if. If they wouldn't have qualified this until like in two weeks, he would be saying this at every press conference. And by the end of the two weeks, he will be saying that he was the one that told everybody to go to them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, uh, you know, by the way, uh, Dave Bowles writes on our uh, on our chat room, and I very seldom read the chat room because I'm too busy looking at you guys and, and women. And it says... Um, this is what Alex originally intended the citizen panel to be. Normal people sharing thoughts and experiences, not Groundhog Day food fights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, the reason Phil isn't here again tonight, his dog died. And yeah. he's feeling pretty good. Oh, did it? it? Yeah. Cat. Cat. Dog. 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 Oh, dog. Oh, sorry. Dog. Dog. <laughs> That's all right. It's a dog shit. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, um, it's it, not uh, funny. It's not funny. It's, uh, no, it's not. I feel bad. No, I, I, I meant, I just, I was laughing because I forgot it was a dog. You thought it was a cat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a cat. Yeah, I and I, I feel bad for him, you know. That's the hardest thing in the world yeah, is to too. lose a pet, you know. Yeah, I feel you bad. Found, you found that dog when he and I were chatting today. We chatted yesterday a little bit and then today. He found that dog like on the freeway, yeah, and like, like really, really bad shape, and and brought it into the house and all that stuff. I mean, geez, crazy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he yeah. did find him on the yeah. freeway. Now I remember. Yeah. That. He has a little more of a history with that animal than most of us would have with our animals. You know. Yeah. And then he found him. It's horrible him back when your pet dies. It's just horrible. No. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I still yeah. never get one. I, I always felt bad when I had a pet die because I felt so bad about them dying. And while I loved my father dearly, I don't think I felt as bad about him dying as I did the You're pet. right, Alex. My, you know? my, my uncle died I couldn't, and my dog Duncan died. I was more upset with my dog than my uncle, even though because I didn't like him that much. But still. Uh, I don't know how many of you have pets. Uh, you have pets, uh, Rob. That I know. You've got those big furry Two mothers. Cats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I, I when my cat, one of my cats, uh, Shabbos died, I thought about it and I said to myself, you know, I could swear this animal and I had conversations. Yeah. Oh. You know, I can't he, believe he that we about. never talked. We never talked to each other. Of course, he was a Siamese, and he was always talking. But uh, the, the, we were, t you know, that we were, um, we we never spoke to each other, uh, and and yet we did. You know, I they mean, no animals must know. They know the love. They, yeah. Oh, they know everything, and they and they communicate with you. You know, and, uh, and it's just, I, I always felt that I had an ongoing dialogue with this pet. So you know. And there's the little doggy. Yes. Oh, yes. Hello, doggy. Oh, no, that's not a dog. It's Ray. No. Um, <laughs> no haircut. <laughs> so, um, um, uh, Josh, uh, how, do you think, um, how do you think it's going out there? As you sit there from your uh, football chair, which is the closest you're going to get to a football game in a long time, uh, it's a baseball chair. A base, is it a baseball chair? Oh, yeah, baseball it's a chair with it's a the football. All right, shirt. it's the closest you're going to get to a football, a baseball game, this year. How do you feel about that? Is that driving you crazy? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it'll be. I mean, I'll, the NFL will probably start on time. I don't know. I mean. They haven't said yet one way or the other. I mean, they're going to put their schedule out. It's supposed to be normal schedule, so we'll see what happens. But, yeah, uh, I mean, they're starting to open stuff back up. I mean, at least, you know, most places that I, I know of. I don't know. I don't know how it's going, really, because I've, since I've had to go out to work every day, I, I haven't really noticed a real difference anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh other than you just couldn't go do certain things that you, you know, wanted to do or normally did. But I, I mean, I noticed really no less cars out. Well, wait you know, a minute. Have they, have they, I was supposed it, to work have, with was there. Have they gone shelter in place where you are? Yeah, they had that whole thing. But that's what I kind of said a couple of weeks ago was that it, you know, it was supposed to be this order to do all that stuff, but it was so vaguely and loosely written that everyone just ignored it. I mean, that one did it. Well, you know, I in, mean, in you certain know? parts of the country, they ignore it only because they see it happening somewhere else much worse. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, here in New York, we could not for a moment think about going out. Okay. I mean, Whoa. we're trying to save every. We're trying to save our lives and everybody else's. And it, it, when, when you look at the amount of people dead in New York, what did I say it was? Uh, uh, we're up to. Um, uh, hold on a second. I got to get back to the United uh, back to the United States here. Uh, we're uh, we're back to. Uh, we have eighteen thousand three hundred ninety nine deaths in New York City. Yeah. Okay. So it's a different, it's almost a different game for us than it is for you, where you are, you know. While you know there's still death going on, I don't know, what state are you in again? I always forget what state you're in. I mean, I, I live in Ohio, and I live, uh, I don't live in Columbus. I work in Columbus, you know, the mm -hmm. capital, and it's right. a very populated okay. yeah. city. It's one of the largest cities in America. I mean, I think it's in the top... 15 or top 20 yeah you know and, and the state the state had a lot of cases i think i read it was like the seventh or eighth most cases in the nation in, in ohio i mean the outbreak was really bad it was but the government didn't take any steps that were concrete enough to make people you know not work or not do things and when they don't do that people tend to you know people break laws as it is yeah. And when it's not even really a law, people just ignore it. I mean, so, it was just so they, it was an order, yeah. but an, it's a non-policed or non-enforced order, so no one complied. But, but had, had they made all non-essential businesses close? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But and then and then in parentheses they listed all the essential businesses, and it went on for like a hundred pages. Yeah. <laughs> so so I mean, McDonald's essential, Starbucks essential. Wendy's essential, you know, I mean, the, the dry cleaners essential. I mean, 
Well, even Everything. here, even here, they essential. Even here, they they considered restaurants essential. Okay, um, uh, not that they were, you know, uh, all, all right. of them, but uh, to uh, enable them to, uh, uh, you know, to c call them essential. Um, I don't, you know, I I don't know what, uh, um, you know, what it's kind of like there because it, it people have a probably less of a feeling that death is got his scythe and is hanging over your shoulder, you know, right. than we do. But it's 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 yeah. it's um, you know it's scary. I mean, yeah. um, uh, and I, I mean, especially at my age, you know, with my physical condition. Uh, don't uh, feel too safe about it. And I'm sure, Kevin, with your medical problems, you probably feel it's problematic. And Jeff, you probably feel it's pl problematic with your heart problems, you know. And even mm -hmm. though all of you are at the present time okay, the, the, the point is that uh, you're not that okay that, that you could overcome an infestation of this horrible disease, right? Yeah, no, I'm going to let the about, kooks go out and do their thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they talk a lot about the Sweden case, you know, saying that it's the balance of risk. You know, when you see a, a country like that, that, you know, did things differently, it's a good data point for us to have to see, you know, what are we going to write in the books to say when this happens again? And one of the big things they say is that we have to take care of the elderly. We have to take care of the people who are at risk, at high risk. Mm -hmm. I sweet... thought we're supposed to sacrifice the elderly. <laughs> well, that's that's according to the Texas lieutenant governor. Ah, I'm sorry, yeah. I missed that. Yeah, for the well-being of of the younger people who are going to need to have an economy. <laughs> you know, so uh, you know, why don't you just go get a gun, lieutenant governor, and just shoot me in the head now, okay? You know, and have done with it, so you can have your fucking economy. You know. Yeah, you die now, open up. Well, I I and think it's wrong when we have when we when we. Oh, the, look, he's washing his hands. He's doing <laughs> that. He's doing the whole thing. You know, we've all become obsessive compulsive. Oh, he's doing the, the CDC thing. Yeah, the thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Great. And you got to sing "Happy Birthday" twice. Right, right. We don't hear yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. The demo. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I mean, I, I just, um, uh, it's, it's a whole new world we're living in now. It, it's, it's amazing. Do you know this thing's only been going on for two months? I know. Yeah, we're in day 62 here in New York. Essentially two months. I think it's going to be two more. Oh, easy. I Until they have some sort of a vaccine look, or cure, it, 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 you're it, not going to get people, large amounts of people. I, if the NFL plays, it's going to be to an empty stadium. But then you've got 110 players, plus the media, yeah, yeah. plus the television crews, plus you know all the press. There's no way they're playing this year. 2021 is when sports are going to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, we no tonight trouble. tonight we are watching uh, Real Sports on HBO, which I'm not a sports fan, but Real Sports <laughs> I love that is show. a good show. It's a yeah, really good show. show. <laughs> because it's it's more like 60 minutes than it is yes. like a sports show, okay? And they their whole first piece was about what's going to happen to games where you have large stadiums to fill. And uh, they showed where it started, where this whole, where the whole thing in Italy spread from a town called Bergano or something like that, where they had a, a major soccer game and eighty thousand yeah. people showed up, and then everybody dispersed and went back throughout Italy, and the whole thing just spread like a wildfire throughout Italy. And uh, that, knowing that, the question is, what do you do about? these kind of games. I mean, when we, we're sitting there and we're watching now football game or soccer games and football games and baseball games where there are people crowded in and we're going, wow, I wouldn't want to be there. You know, you all of a sudden realize how scary that is. Well, uh, there's got to be a way to control it somehow. My, I was talking to a, a friend of mine today. And yeah. He is a, a retired fireman up in the Palo Alto area. 
and he moved out of town. He's up in the north, outside of Sacramento now. But his wife is an ER nurse. Yeah. His daughter's uh, a nurse. Mm -hmm. His daughter-in-law is a nurse. His mm -hmm. son is a paramedic. Mm -hmm. And they've all been going through the whole COVID-19. I think the whole damn family's caught it and burned it off. Yeah. And he was telling me, he goes, look at the, look at Hong Kong. He said, the, as big and as dense as Hong Kong is, they've got four deaths. That's it. He said, they've been practicing masks and facial covering and cleanliness forever. Yeah, and yes. they've got almost nothing over there. And I went and I looked at the, the map, you know, that you looked at, and they only got four deaths over there. And I thought, you know, I, I they got something going right over there. Let me see, Hong Kong. And do they bow or do they shake hands? They bow. <laughs> and they just, or, you know, they do all that stuff, you know. It, exactly. It's different. And if you notice, somebody from Hong Kong... There's a lot of people even over on this side of the on this side of the in the United States. They'll wear face masks or they wear those face shield visor hat things sometimes when they're over here. Yeah. And you know, it's a pretty dense, densely populated area. I wonder if they're doing something right over there, you know? Let's Not see. that I want to go walking around wearing a face mask, but something's something. Yeah. Well, going you know, on. I can tell you I went to Hong Kong in nineteen ninety uh three before they became part of China mm -hmm. and and then and then I went to China and it's like night and day Hong Kong is uh, super clean people uh, wear masks always if they're sick they wear a mask and always. they're cleaning their hands and everything uh, uh, always wash it there's, here it and, is uh, this there's is, none uh, of those uh, markets um, and when you go to China people have respiratory problems and all this because it's just so filthy and right. sick. okay okay now wait Hong a minute Kong, but hold, hold on a second First of all, you're absolutely right. There only have been four deaths in Hong Kong, only a total of confirmed 1,039 cases. Right. But, okay, the fact of the matter is that in all of China, they claim there were only 83,959 cases and 4,637 deaths. Now, that's in all of China. Yeah, well, that's... With a population of a billion and, I think, a quarter, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we got to take into fact that the numbers could be skewed a little bit, too. There's some lying going on there. Yeah. But they, yeah. they put in a lot of strict restrictions, right? Right away, immediately. But isn't Hong Kong more of a um, British control, or is it still no, in... No, it's, no, it's, no. It's, it's, it went China. back to it's China. It's all Chinese okay. now. Okay, I yeah. thought maybe that they were two thousand under British control a little yeah. bit. But the no. fact of the matter is that it's, a ve it's very interesting anyway. Let's say it's just a complete lie. Double, triple, quadruple those numbers, and you still got only 16 deaths. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing because Hong Kong is a very dense, large city. Um, uh, so large, they build everything on top of everything else, you know. Yeah, yeah. What, what about the nursing home stuff? I mean, do you think some of those cultures also, they're taking care of their parents? And, I mean, they're not in nursing homes that are, you know, made, those things need to be a lot more regulated? Or I, I, maybe, maybe they just don't they feel do. entitled that if they don't want to wear a mask, it's their right not to. Maybe, you know, because that's what seems to be the prevailing attitude here is, you yeah. know, when you talk to some of the real conservatives, they'll tell you, you can't tell me to wear a mask. And yep. the attitude isn't, you know, it's my right. Yeah, it is your right, absolutely. But what about taking care of your fellow Americans, right? And getting back to work. And it's all part of it. Well, right? you know, and everybody wants to get back. But yet they don't want to do anything. Oh, because my right, don't tell me to wear a mask. You know, right. When you talk about these uh, uh, homes, uh, God, now at my age, I have that to look forward to, huh? Uh, you know, I, no, don't ever put me in one. Kill me before that. Sense, you know, <laughs> no, really, because I mean, come on, the the death camps. Is what yeah, my mom are. is in one right now. She didn't want to go yeah. to sleep the other night. I threatened. <laughs> I mean, she's joking. Wait a minute, uh, Rob, your mom is in one. Yeah, she's in really? an assisted living facility, and they're on lockdown. They up until last week, they she's in a dementia ward, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful place. I yeah. mean, they have games all day, and they have all kinds of activities, and they put them on buses, mm -hmm. and they take them for ice cream, and they. The, right now, yeah, lockdown. You're stuck in your apartment. She has an apartment. 
Mm-hmm. She's stuck in her apartment, and that's where she stays. They Instead of the communal dinners, they're serving everybody in their rooms, yep. and they're on complete lockdown. And you can't go to see her. That's can't go see her. Me. That is right. I, we that's call her. Terrible. They'll... they'll, they'll uh, if I say, hey, Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, do we do a Skype session? They'll bring my mother in and they'll, yeah. That's good. Cool. What were you saying, Charlene? No, I was going to ask him the same thing, you know, like he's not allowed to see her. And I was, yeah. that's good that they let you uh, see her virtually like that. Yeah, Yeah, they're, they're great. I mean, it costs her a fortune. Luckily, she's mm-hmm. got the money. Um, but, um, you know, it's like eight grand a month. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not exactly a nursing home. It's an assisted no, living facility. It's assisted which is living. Different. Yeah. But because she, she's in a dementia ward, it's a place where if you retire, you, mm-hmm. you Alex, you say, I'm selling everything. I'm going to move into, I'm going to buy an apartment there. I'm going to move in. Now, you don't buy the apartment, but you move in and you pay them like six grand a month because my mother needs more care. Mm-hmm. So hers is more expensive than yours. Mm-hmm. You live there. You can have a car. You come and go. Your meals are all taken care of. They have all kinds of activities. Right. And you live there. And the longer you're there and the more services you need, then the more you pay. Mm-hmm. It includes all your food. So if it costs you six grand a month, that includes all your meals, pretty much everything. Yeah. Unless you want to eat out. Right. So it's not uh, it's bad. the same place my mom's at, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, um, but... Uh, the uh, nursing homes, <clears throat> excuse me, the nursing homes uh, are, are a real problem here, you know. Um, they're landlocked cruise ships, uh, you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's a good way to put it. Well, I mean, and, and you want to talk about where they're seeing the worst. Some of the, st- some of the states are seeing some of the worst outbreaks uh, are uh, prisons. Right. You know, I mean, and there's no way they can have a prison with social distancing. You know, it's just, they just weren't they weren't built that way. Yeah, that one right by uh, Josh was on the news last night. I think was it, was it Mason or something like that, Josh? I can't um, remember the name of it. Oh, you mean uh, Marion? Yeah, Marion. Yeah, yeah, it's, they have a pretty bad outbreak up there. I guess I, I. I think there's a couple hundred inmates. Yeah, it was it was sick. a few hundred, I think. Yeah, they're trying to figure out where they're going to put them. Yeah. So I mean that's terrible, and then of course we got the Tyson Chicken Plant. Oh yeah, they drop like flies up there. Yeah, yeah. T- Nine hundred people go, infected. He's telling them to go back to work. Trump. Yeah, uh, it's some incredible amount. And the president, I think I the president's today. forcing them to go back to work. Is he out of his mind, this man? Well, you know, I don't know how much I want chicken. That I don't I want it that much, you know. I mean, it's all frozen. Shit. Well, I mean, he just, you know, he just he just did one of those those defense thing orders that you, yeah. he supposedly can do, and just said everybody back to work. You got to open up those plants. We need our chicken. Yeah, but what I heard about that, the only reason that they really they closed was because they were worried about being sued. Yeah, they weren't worried about people dying. They're worried about being sued, and yeah. by Trump signing that, it takes away the liability for uh-huh. Tyson to, you know, get, you know, get in any kind of trouble. Yeah. What do you think? Lawsuit. Oh, I don't like that. What do you think is going to be the uh, the uh, future of Tyson now with all of this? You know. I hope it's not oh, bad. I'll miss my nuggets. You'll miss your nuggets. They all good though. Yeah, my mother. I always miss my nuggets, like, man. Probably. Put them in the stuff. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, you can always go to Popeyes. I think they have nuggets. Yeah, Pop, you're right, Alex. Popeye has good coleslaw. Yeah. Too, yes, think. Kevin. Did you uh, happen oh, to okay. see the new uh, spokesperson today? Oh my God. Yeah. Huh? The new uh, wow. New spokesperson for who? Trump. That took over Huckabee's job. Woo. Spicer's job. Oh, 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 the new spokes. Oh, I thought you meant the spokesperson yeah, the for Tyson. Uh, I, didn't see I think it. she I said something it. today, but I just sat there and stared at her for crying. I about. know. Yeah. Uh, uh, at, at last, we finally, you know, what a what a difference, huh, between her and Very Huckabee. well spoken, too. Very well spoken, Absolutely but I would gorgeous. think that makes her doubly dangerous. Yes, okay? exactly. You know. Uh, <laughs> she was putting people what, what in their happened, place what happened, well. to, what happened to Ray? Did we lose him? I don't know. He left. He left. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then I will. Uh, I will uh, uh, take him and fade him out from our uh, from our uh, group here. 
Let's see. Oh, yeah, she, uh, she held her own pretty good for the first day. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she held her own okay, you know. And I was holding my own while I was watching yeah. her. So. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, she's uh, she's hot looking, but you could can't touch her because she's wearing that cross, and I'm a vampire. And, uh, <laughs> when they gave her the full shot when she was walking away, I went, "Holy crap! Those heels are about ten inches long." Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You, you know what she is? She is a perfect example. Uh, if Albert were here, he could uh, agree with me on this. We went to the Republican convention here in New York City. Uh, oh, and, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, and we're walking <laughs> around, and I said to him, is it my imagination? Are these or are these Republican women hot as shit? Wow. And he said, amazingly so. And I said, I, I think it's just to be able to get to you, you know, because, oh, see, you can't have this because you're not, you're not of the right, you don't belong to the right. It's like she just walked off the Fox set. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, Ray is back, so we can re put him back on the uh, on the thing here. No, I just looked her up to see what she looked like. Kaylee McKenney. Mc yeah, McKenney. Yeah. I didn't McEnany. get her name because I was too busy looking at her. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm nice teeth. Yeah, I, I, beautiful. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a se mm -hmm. I'm a sexist pig. Okay. Yeah. So. But that's what Trump wants, you know, all form, no substance. Exactly. So, yeah, like yeah well, I don't know. She, she kind of resembles Ivanka like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you're going to give me all no form all, uh, no form and all substance, or all, no, what what did you say? All form and no substance. Uh, all form, form and no substance, thing, give me that, okay? Uh, you know. Um, I heard that, I mean, I didn't read it, but the, the headline was that on her first press conference, she lied for Trump. So, I mean, oh, she did take a great it job of it, too. Well, I mean, I didn't hear it. I, I just saw pictures of it. I was working. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, what the hell? So, she defended him with poise. Y yes. Yes. Uh, well, I, did she did the, the swimsuit uh, 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 competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, it was, um, um, you know, I mean, she's dangerous. Because of exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. It was very well polished. Yes. Maybe her and Gabbard Stop. get into an oil the wrestling. First thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tulsi Gabbard. Be entertaining. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I mean, I, I just I I always feel bad about Republican women that I can jerk off to. Uh, because because it's kind of like I don't know it's kind of like I figure like what if, what would happen if I had wound up in Auschwitz and there was a female prison guard uh, who I got hot for it just wouldn't wouldn't go right you know so I don't know what's say we keep losing your camera there Ray <clears throat> maybe we I, keep... know. I don't know what the hell's wrong um, I I know what it is because I had the camera software open and if I do in Skype I have to close it and I forgot to. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, but uh, she, yeah, she was, she was pretty good. I should have brought that up. I'm glad one of you guys did. You know. Um, um, but uh, you know, he seems to be. Am I? Am, am I? Am I believing this all wrong, or does he seem to be kind of backing off a little bit? Yeah. Like not putting himself out in front quite as much in the last week. Because every time he sticks his neck out, somebody's ready to chop it off, and I don't think he likes that, especially during an election season. Well, he got hurt with that whole thing about um, the you Lysol. Know, the, all, yeah, the Lysol, and the so he, he, he yeah. they probably told him, "Look, well, back back away." Here is a statistic. I've, I meant I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the show. Andrew Cuomo may be the single most popular politician in America right now. Uh, it says that current poll numbers are literally unbelievable. A new Sierra, a Siena college poll released this week showed Cuomo's overall favorability among New Yorkers at 77 percent. While Probably the other percentage are the deaf people who yeah. are suing him. <laughs> while 71 percent approved of the job he's doing for the state. Asked 
who they would trust more to make the right decision on when to reopen New York, 78% chose Cuomo, who's very tough on this, right? While 16% opted for President Donald Trump. <laughs> Yeah, but those are New Yorkers, and they're not, you know, most New Yorkers. It's it's a blue state, so. Uh, Cuomo's stratospheric numbers are driven by remarkable bipartisan, bipartisan support. Yes, 70% of Democrats view him favorably, but 73% of independents say the same as do a, 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 same as do a majority. 53% of Republicans. Wow. Now, there you go. That's that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody who could maybe unite the country. Probably too bad that the election is this year and not like in two years from now. Well, he's right. had a bunch of problems over the years. I mean, he, he there are things about him that some people don't like. Right, Jeff? I mean, no, absolutely. the biggest but, thing well, I but, hear from my. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah. I, I think the other thing that we ought to uh, talk about is that the stock market is going down, down, down. For the oh, last wow. week or so, it's really bad. And I, that is really going to affect a lot of people who think about their their money rather than people being dying. Yeah, well, you know, when it comes to your money in America, if it comes to your money or somebody dying, they're going to take my, their money before they go out yeah. to help somebody from dying, you know. Q4 um, will be fabulous. Huh? Q4 will be fabulous. Well, you know Beautiful. what? Shecky, my friend Shecky said to me yesterday, he says, you do know that the month of April was the biggest uh, rise in the stock market yeah. in like 20 years. Yeah, he's he right said, about that. But, yep. he, he, but he said you have to weigh that against the fact that the yeah. months before were the worst we've been in right. 20 or 30 yeah. years. And so all it had to do was come up like 2,000 points, and that would have been a huge amount. You know, we're still not back where we were, yeah. you know. And, and going down. Right now. Huh? And I'm practicing eating out of dumpsters. <laughs> you know. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> because, I mean, uh, uh, my days are numbered uh, uh, when it comes to uh, if the stock market gets any worse. Um, you know, I should have pulled. Uh, it's like with a lot of my relationships. I should have pulled out before it was too late. You know, <laughs> so. That's why you don't have any kids, though. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But the good you know. news is I don't have any kids. So, yeah. you know, I mean, when I see a cute kid like uh, like uh, Brian's got, I go, well, you know, it might have been a good idea. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have the genetic material to have a kid to look that cute. And between you and your wife, your wife is gorgeous, you're a good-looking guy, <laughs> and you have these gorgeous kids, you know. Me? Yeah, but wait till I go back down. I got to settle something with the boy. So me, I'd have to fuck one of the Kardashians in order to offset my bad looks and my bad genetic material. <laughs> you know, so it's uh, you know, hey, I've just looked at the clock, and uh, my other time has gone by. There's the theme. Hey, really nice. Just a nice, nice little show here. Love talking to you people. You're the best. Um, that's it for us tonight. Um, why don't you all uh, like uh, wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you. Okay, there they go. Thanks to Brian. Thanks to uh, uh, Rob. Thanks to Charlene. Thanks to Ray. Thanks to Jeff. Thanks to Josh. Thanks to Kevin. Thanks to Tony. Hey, I got them all. Wave now. Wave goodbye. There we go. Okay. Now, thanks. There now. they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me just hang up on them unceremoniously here uh, so that Jack Bishop can use the Skype lines next for the intersection. In fact, uh, if you get a chance, why don't you give him a call? He likes to take calls, too, just as much as I do. Anyway, that's it for tonight. That's our program. We'll see you again. We're not back until uh, Tuesday. Uh, and if I don't have the coronavirus by then, I'll be happy to drop by and entertain you some more. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you on Tuesday at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, yeah, I'm getting off early here. If, if in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Have a nice weekend, everybody. And, you know, I hope you don't die. <laughs>